And uh, today's reading is a kind of a climax to people's journey towards the promised land and its possession. With this uh, introduction and placing of this uh, Ark of the Covenant in the temple constructed by Solomon, the dream of David has been realized. It was the dream of David to construct a temple for the Lord where the Ark of the Covenant would be placed. So, the, uh, we see here that uh, the hopes of, the, of David no, and that of the people of God coming from the slavery in Egypt or what we call the Exodus tradition plus the covenant of Mount Sinai were fused together in this now what we call the temple the institution of the temple of the king of Israel so in this solemn celebration to inaugurate the temple all people were involved through their representatives the transport of the Ark of the Covenant is assigned to the, the priests exclusively. But the king together with the whole assembly and the delegates participated actively to the solemn sacrificial liturgy. And when the Ark of the Covenant is placed in the innermost space of the temple, God takes it as his own through a cloud symbol of his glory as it says in the first reading now the cloud filled the temple of the lord so that the priest could no longer minister because of the cloud symbol this cloud is a symbol that reminds us of the mysterious reality of God who reveals himself guides and protects his own people and uh, at the end of the reading Solomon was very satisfied of what he had done but later on would realize that this temple was perishable it would not last and uh, it would point to another temple, another reality of place of encounter, and that is the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ, who would become the true temple, the true meeting place of God and humanity. And... Uh, Jesus, the divine word, would become the true temple where God and his people encounter each other, where the gifts of his abundance, the abundance of his love, of his salvific love, is received. What a privilege for us Christians now that we do not just meet the Lord in a particular place, in a temple, but now in the person of Jesus Christ, where any moment, any place, any circumstance, when one knows how to open himself or herself to Christ, there we meet the temple, the new temple of God, Jesus Christ. 
as we meet him, especially in this liturgy, in this celebration with his word and the gift of himself in the Eucharist. May we be strengthened again and again by this comfort that he brings us, that the word made flesh, Jesus Christ, is met, can be met anywhere, everywhere, when we know how to relate with him and invoke his presence. Let our encounter today be a source of strength as we face the challenges of everyday life. Amen.